Yep. Yep, check, check, check. Yep, 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 yep. Everybody good? Everybody good? Everybody good? Yep, 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 yep. Talking this way. Yep, yep, yep. Talking that way. Don't know what to do with my hands. Nope, 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 nope. Everyone just fire up their lights. 
I'll I'll ask Battery, so.
Check, 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 the check, check, check. Focus, check. Well, well, well. It's a lot of microphones. Check, check, check. Check, two, three, four. Testing, testing, testing. Hey, Dave. Check, check, check. Yeah. It's the uh, color we don't want.
Ah, yeah, the sound check, audio check. Can you hear? Mic check, mic check. One, two, one, two, one, two. Cool. Mic check, can you hear? It's okay? Can you go again? <laughs> mic check, mic check, can you hear? Mic check, audio check, can you hear? One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mic check. <clears throat> No
One, two, three, sound check. Sound one, sound two. Okay.
Before we start it, I just want to make some remarks. So it will be the Prime Minister communication team who will lead the press conference. They will make <coughs> have a statement uh, with a translation, and afterwards they will pick um, any of you who, who will have a questions, okay? The translator will be next to the mic. Translator, so you prefer her to be here? Because I think this Prime Minister will be standing here and in temperature. <coughs> it is what it is. So, where do I have to stand for, <laughs> for you to hear me? Just and for be me loud. Just be loud. <laughs> okay. I can do that. Okay.
presence of the Prime Minister of Ukraine, Denis Shmupal, on his presence of, the, of his visit to the United States. Prime Minister, floor is yours. Доброго дня всім, шановні пані і панові. Good afternoon to all of you. Сьогодні наша команда завершує візит до Сполучених Штатів Америки. Ключовими темами цього візиту безумовно і безсумнівно стала військова допомога Україні, фінансова підтримка, програма відновлення України з фокусом на швидку відбудову, а також посилення санкцій проти Росії. Today is the final day of our visit to the United States. The key topics of this visit definitely were the military assistance to Ukraine, financial assistance, uh, the program of recovery of Ukraine that is focused on rapid recovery and also in, uh, strengthening the sanctions against Russia. Ми провели надзвичайно плідні перемовини з міністром оборони паном Лойдом Остіном, з міністром фінансів Дженет Єлен, з адміністратором USAID пані Самантою Пауер з міністром торгівлі Джиною Раймондо, заступником радника президента США з питань національної безпеки Майком Пайлом, міністром транспорту США Пітом Бутіджичем та заступником державного секретаря США Вікторією Нуланд. Secretary of Commerce General Raimondo, Deputy National Security Advisor uh, Mike Pyle, Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg, <coughs> and Under Secretary of uh, State Victoria Nolan. Ми мали надзвичайно плідні перемовини та домовленості з керівниками міжнародних фінансових організацій МВФ, Світового банку, Європейського інвестиційного банку і в рамках Spring Meetings провели цілий ряд дуже ефективних плідних перемовин. We had extremely fruitful meetings and agreements with the representatives of IMF, the World Bank and the European Investment Bank and as part of the Spring Meetings we had a number of very fruitful meetings and discussions. Разом з президентом України Володимиром Зеленським прийняли участь і виступили на круглому столі міністерського рівня в рамках Spring Meetings, де обговорили з партнерами нагальні потреби України. Партнери запевнили Україну в довготривалій підтримці в наданні України загального пакету в сумі 115 мільярдів доларів на наступні 4 роки, що гарантує макрофінансову, макроекономічну стабільність нашої держави. Ми вдячні партнерам за це. Together with the President of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, we uh, participated and uh, had a speech at the round table of ministerial level uh, and as part of the spring meetings in the World Bank and discussed the urgent needs of Ukraine. The international apartment, uh, partners have reassured us in the long-term support and assured us of providing $115 billion of uh, support for the next four years to ensure macroeconomic stability. В рамках перемовин з партнерами, країнами, міністрами фінансів країн J7 в рамках Sprint Meetings ми також поспілкувалися з міністрами фінансів Великої Британії, з міністром фінансів Франції, з міністром фінансів Німеччини. Отримали запевнення від партнерів на підтримку України в швидкому відновленні, а також в інших проектах підтримки України на суму близько 5 мільярдів доларів. As part of the spring meetings and the discussions with the partners, we met with the ministers of finance uh, of uh, various countries such as France, uh, Germany and UK, and we received assurances that we will get total support uh, for rapid recovery and other projects for more than $5 billion. Також обговорили подальшу співпрацю і підтримку України в рамках Multi-Donor Coordination Platform, яка провела вже два своїх установчих засідання, і ми працюємо далі над фінансовою підтримкою України. We also discussed further cooperation and financial support as if within the Multi-Donor Coordination Platform, which already had two meetings and will continue to work. На полях Spring Meetings ми також провели зустріч з USAID, а також з американською корпорацією DFC, щодо підписання і підписали цю угоду щодо підтримки України і фінансування міжнародного розвитку і залучення інвестицій в Україну для втілення пріоритетних проєктів розвитку. On the sidelines of the spring meetings we also met with the USAID and DFC and discussed the support in involving investments in Ukraine to implement the priority development projects for recovery. 
Зі Світовим банком також була підписана угода про виділення України додаткових 200 мільйонів доларів для відновлення енергетики. Ці кошти будуть направлені на відбудову електромереж, електроенергетики та систем теплопостачання в Києві, Харкові, Миколаєві, Сумах та містах Чернігівської області. This funds will be uh, allocated to restore the uh, energy grid and uh, heating systems in Kyiv, Kharkiv, Mykolaiv, Sumy and Chernihiv oblast uh, cities. За підсумками круглого столу міністерського рівня в межах sprint meetings, ряд країн повідомили про додаткову допомогу нашій країні, зокрема Швейцарія надасть Україні 1,8 мільярда франків протягом наступних 6 років. Данія створює спеціальні фонди, планує наповнити його на 1 мільярд євро. Основна сума піде на військову та гуманітарну допомогу, а також на підтримку приватного сектора в Україні. Також додаткову підтримку Україні нададуть Іспанія, Ірландія, Японія, Литва, Латвія, Ісландія, Нідерланди. Ми вдячні за це. As a result of the ministerial roundtable within the spring meetings, a number of countries informed that they will provide additional assistance to our country. Switzerland will provide 1.8 billion francs during the next six years. Denmark is creating a special fund and is planning to put 1 billion euros into it. The main uh, cost will go into military and humanitarian assistance, as well as the support of the private sector. Additional support will also be provided by Spain, Ireland, Japan, Latvia, Lithuania, Результати зустрічі з представниками американського уряду в черговий раз підтвердили стратегічний характер наших відносин. З міністром оборони Ллойдом Остіном ми говорили про збільшення військової допомоги для успішного контрнаступу української армії і звільнення наших територій. Для нас особливо важливо, щоб вже найближчим часом ми отримали все необхідне озброєння, боєприпаси, а також ракети більшої дальності. З паном міністром оборони ми також обговорили питання більш стратегічного співробітництва і на подальший час. З міністеркою фінансів США Дженет Єлен ми торкнулися дуже важливої теми санкцій проти агресора. Якраз під час нашого візиту США оголосили новий потужний санкційний пакет, в розмірі, вірніше, в який потрапили понад 120 компаній фізосіб, зокрема пов'язаних з Росатомом. Ми дуже багато зусиль докладали, докладаємо для того, щоб санкціонувати атомну галузь Російської Федерації і, власне, Сполучені Штати вже зробили перші кроки. With the Secretary of Treasury, Janet Yellen, we discussed the very important topics of, of the sanctions against the aggressor. During our visit, the United States announced the new powerful sanctions against uh, the 120 companies and individuals, and some of them are associated with the Rosatom. We have put a lot of effort into stressing how important it is to sanction the Russian nuclear branch, and we will continue working in that area. З міністром транспорту Сполучених Штатів Пітом Бутіджичем обговорили відновлення критичної інфраструктури, логістика – важливий аспект функціонування економіки, функціонування військової економіки в час війни. Тож розвиваємо західні маршрути, впроваджуємо концесію для залучення приватних інвестицій. Власне, цих тематик ми торкнулися з міністром транспорту. We discussed restoration of critical infrastructure. Logistics is a very important aspect of uh, the work of economy, especially <coughs> military economy at the time of war. So we are developing the western routes and implementing concession to engage private companies. Предметно обговорили посилення економічної спроможності разом з міністркою торгівлі Джиною Раймондо зосередились на програмах підтримки малого, середнього, мікробізнесу, розвитки переробки і логістики, а також безумовно обговорили питання додаткових санкцій. 
Uh, we had good discussions uh, about the enhancing uh, of economic capacity with the Secretary of Commerce, Gina Raimondo. We focused on the programs of support for small, medium, and macro and micro business, development of recycling and logistics, and of course additional sanctions. На зустрічах з американським бізнесом говорили про інвестиції та страхування військових ризиків, про е, план, аналог плану Маршала для України, про трансформацію української економіки. Ми йдемо в ЄС, ми інтегруємося у глобальний світ, ми у глобальні ланцюжки доданої вартості, прямі іноземні інвестиції, особливо зі Сполучених Штатів, закладуть основу для трансформації нашої економіки. And the analog of the Marshall Plan for Ukraine, also transformation of Ukrainian economy. We are moving towards the European Union and integrating into global uh, chains and the world of uh, added value. Direct foreign investment, especially investment from the United States, will lay the foundation for the transformation of our economy. Під час зустрічі з бізнесом компанія Boeing оголосила, що звільняє українські компанії від зобов'язання у 200 мільйонів доларів, пов'язане з проектом «Морський старт». Ми говорили про те, що ми вкрай зацікавлені у продовженні нашого співробітництва з компанією розширення інвестицій від Боїнгу та інших американських корпорацій. At the meeting with the business, uh, the company Boeing announced that they are relieving Ukrainian companies from the commitment of 200 million dollars that is associated with the sea launch project. We discussed that we are very interested in continuing the cooperation and expanding investments from Boeing and other American corporations. Ми надзвичайно вдячні компанії Boeing за такий крок. We truly appreciate this step from the Boeing company. Під час нашого візиту ми ще раз переконалися в тому, що у України є надійні партнери і добрі друзі, які будуть іти з нами стільки, скільки потрібно до нашої перемоги. During this visit we saw once again that Ukraine has reliable partners and true friends that will go with us to the victory as long as it, it takes. Підтримка України – це інвестиція в глобальну безпеку та міжнародний порядок, який заснований на правилах. Наші партнери це розуміють, і я впевнений, що з допомогою наших союзників ми переможемо, відновимо мир, справедливість і відбудуємо Україну. Ми вдячні американському народу, ми вдячні Конгресу за двопалатну, двопартійну підтримку, ми вдячні президенту Байдену та адміністрації президента за абсолютно тверду підтримку України стільки, скільки це потрібно. І я впевнений, що разом з нашими партнерами ми будемо відбудовувати Україну за ключовим принципом об'єднані у захисті нашої держави, будемо об'єднані і у відбудові нашої держави. Uh, we uh, want to say thank you to the American people, to the Congress for its bi bipartisan support, to the administration of the President of the United States uh, for their uh, constant support uh, that will continue as long as it takes. And we are confident that the support will continue, as we say, united in defense and united in recovery. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, your question, please. Uh, yes, uh, Prime Minister Schmigel, can you say um, what your concerns are about these leaked documents how much of a risk and how much danger does it pose to Ukraine? And have you discussed this with Austin and with other people while you're here? With uh, Secretary Austin, we discussed support of Ukraine uh, during all of this period. Now we are preparing for our counteroffensive. We are crucially uh, united and uh, uh, absolutely uh, we're absolutely united with uh, American and other uh, international partners in preparation of our counteroffensive, and we are sure that we will win in this war. We will liberate our territories, and no one uh, special psychological operations from uh, side of Russia will not touch our unity and not will not stop our counteroffensive. Are you saying that the leaks are a, 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 a misinformation or disinformation campaign by the Russians? I'm sure that the uh, investigation will demonstrate all the conclusions, what happens. Uh, next question. Uh, 
Яку суму вже зараз вдалося зібрати і як цьому сприяли ваші зустрічі тут у Вашингтоні? Якщо можна, друге запитання стосовно заморожених активів Російської Федерації. Чи обговорювали ви це питання з американськими колегами, як дістати ці активи для того, щоб компенсувати відновлення в Україні? And uh, that half of it is needed in the nearest months. How much has been uh, you have been able to raise, raise uh, by now? And the second question uh, relates to foreign as frozen assets of the Russian Federation. Have you discussed these topics and how they can be used? So, if you let me, I'll answer in English. <coughs> uh, first of all, uh, we uh, work closely with our partners, including World Bank, and now we have RDNA report, uh, which demonstrates that all damages and losses which Russia brings to Ukraine uh, totally uh, are for $111 billion, but uh, we crucially need for uh, immediate recovery here in Ukraine $14.1 billion for this year. Uh, partially, we have this amount. We have uh, 3.2 billion in our state budget. We have support from United States in amount 2.3 billion dollars for this year for energy recovery, for recovery of critical infrastructure. Uh, we also have uh, promises from European Commission in amount 1 uh, billion euro. Uh, we discuss uh, this issue with all of our partners and especially with J7, with J7. Uh, ministers of fin finances with all our colleagues and friends and partners and I uh, named it that we have promises after these meetings uh, in total amount 5 billion euro so I hope that till the conference uh, for Ukrainian recovery in London we will collect all needed money for uh, rapid recovery in Ukraine during this year uh, critical infrastructure and crucial needs uh, which will bring to people minimal social and humanitarian uh, needs. So uh, the second part of your question about uh, confiscation of frozen Russian assets, I should uh, notify that we discussed this issue even with all partners uh, on many meetings here because it's crucially important. I sounded this according to the World Bank uh, report for more than four hundred billion dollars it's only on the controlled by Ukraine territories uh, I, I think that uh, when we will liberate all the rest territories this amount could be double uh, higher so it's a huge money and we understand that not United States taxpayers not European taxpayers shouldn't pay this amount uh, actually aggressor should compensate all losses and damages for Ukraine uh, because of this, we discuss now with our partners all uh, legislative or all possible mechanism how to confiscate all of this money and how to bring this to the projects of recovery uh, for Ukrainian infrastructure for Ukrainian uh, uh, for Ukraine. Can I follow up? On uh, no, thank you. Thank you. Uh, excuse me. The next question is yours. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Welcome to Washington. First of all, uh, secondly, as you know, during the first year of the war, there was strong bipartisanship in terms of supporting Ukraine militarily, in terms of economic aid, in terms of humanitarian aid. There's now a divided Congress. Uh, what gives you that level of confidence that that a strong commitment that we saw in the first year of the war will extend with this divided Congress? So first of all, uh, once again and again, I would like to uh, say uh, words of gratitude uh, to every American, to uh, United States of America, to Congress for uh, bipartisan support of uh, Ukrainian battle for our freedom, for our mutual values. I would like also uh, thanks to President Biden and administration of uh, President United States of America. Uh, we know that we protect our freedom, but we also fight for values for values which are very important for each Americans for American people so it let us be sure that America will, will always protect these values and uh, we understand that if Ukraine will lose in this war and America will stop support if if we could just imagine this 
it will change this world. This world will never be secure. Will uh, it will save? It will change uh, global security system in the world, and it will lead to the uh, constant repeating of such wars like now is in Ukraine. So because of this, we understand that American people will always uh, fight for these values. And as President Biden said, Ukraine will win. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Your question, uh, thank you. Um, just what, what kind of assurances are you giving to um, members of Congress and to the, the, the uh, U.S. government about uh, fighting corruption in Ukraine? And then on the, um, the 400 um, million estimate, um, I mean, it, it just, it, it's just kind of mind-boggling to think about these kinds of numbers, and that's obviously going to go up. How can you, um, are you, are you worried that there's going to be sort of donor fatigue as this war goes on? So, uh, fatigue, it's a Russian narrative in all the senses of this uh, word, uh, military fatigue, uh, donor fatigue, partners fatigue, uh, fatigue inside of Ukraine. We are very encouraged to win this war. We are very encouraged to liberate our territories. We are very sure in all of our partners. We, we are very united with our partners. And again and again, I will repeat, no one is fatigued because uh, we, we may be uh, tired physically because it's tough and difficult war, but we are not fatigued. We are not frustrated. So we will fight and we will go into ahead. Uh, we are in war, but we realize and we implement all needed reforms in our country. First of all, now we are candidate for the EU membership. Uh, we implement all of the anti-corruption infrastructures uh, which we have agreed with our partners now. There in Ukraine is created all needed anti-corruption infrastructure. We have anti-corruption bureau, we have uh, agency for uh, uh, corruption prevention, we have anti-corruption uh, anti -corruption court, we have uh, anti-corruption prosecutor. Uh, we adopt as a law anti-corruption strategy. We adopt as an order of cabinet of minister anti-corruption uh, plan. Uh, and two weeks ago, Greco, this is a group of countries against corruption, uh, make statement, make their annual report and uh, recognize that uh, progress of Ukraine in anti-corruption reforms is remarkable, that Ukraine have made f during the last war year more than implement during the previous 30 years of our independence. We will continue uh, implementation of all of these reforms. We continue the main reform for our country, digitalization. This uh, what will prevent any kind of corruption. More than 200 public and state services are digitalized in Ukraine, and it also prevention of corruption. We are accountable for every dollar uh, for the uh, presidential administration, for the World Bank, for the IMF, every dollar which we have from donors, we are reporting for this, and financially and politically. Uh, we, uh, signage, we sign all needed reports. So because of this, I'm sure that we are, once, again, once and once I, I will repeat these uh, words, we are very united with our partners. Uh, we are very accountable, transparent. We have zero tolerance to the corruption. Uh, our reactions are immediate as a government, as a President Zelensky, and I'm sure that we will go uh, with our partners as long as needed for our victory, for our uh, membership in EU. So I will stop here. Your question, please. Hi, thank you so much, Prime Minister Jeff Fernandez with CNN. In any of your meetings with U.S. officials this week, did anyone apologize for the leak of these classified documents that implicated a lot of Ukraine? And then separately, in your meeting with Secretary Austin, was there a discussion of fighter jets, cluster munitions, any new capabilities for Ukraine? We discussed many very important uh, uh, questions and uh, challenges and issues with uh, all officials with uh, whom we have uh, meetings during these three days. Uh, we discussed many very important strategic issues with uh, Secretary uh, uh, Lloyd Austin. Um, uh, and I will repeat, we are united and we go into ahead with training of our soldiers, with having uh, all needed ammunition, with having heavy weaponry for Ukraine. We discuss, uh, uh, we discuss question of uh, supplying to Ukraine uh, uh, missiles of longer uh, ranges. 
uh, in all of these questions, United States uh, are very important partner, for the, the, the number one uh, partner for Ukraine in our uh, defending of democracy and our freedom. Did they indicate any shift on giving you longer range missiles? No shifts. We are very united and we go into a head straight to our victory. Next question. Thank you. And uh, your question, please. Yes. Uh, thank you so much for doing this. Uh, my name is Shou Tanabe for Japanese Nippon PD. Uh, next month, Japan will host a G7 summit in Hiroshima and of course the Russian invasion will definitely be the bigger thing in the meeting. So what kind of a message do you expect from the G7 leaders and uh, what kind of a leadership do you expect from Japan as a chair? Thank you so much. So uh, president, presidency of uh, Japan in uh, G7 uh, countries uh, important for us. We cooperate uh, with Japan and uh, your Prime Minister visited Ukraine. We are very grateful for this. Uh, we hope that during G7 meetings in Japan, uh, leaders will discuss a uh, peace formula of President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky, uh, because this is the only way how could we move toward uh, stop of this war. Russia should stop uh, uh, shell Ukraine by uh, artillery bombs, should stop uh, shot and uh, then this war will uh, stop. But all of these steps, what should we do all together, how should we press Russia, uh, are uh, explained in this uh, peace formula of uh, Ukrainian president. We also should discuss uh, next sanctions. We should discuss confiscation of frozen Russian assets. It's also very important uh, issues which today are in, on our agenda. And we hope that all of these issues will be raised on this uh, J7 meeting. Uh, sir, dear colleagues, thank you for your attention. Press conference is over. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.